Hi. Hey guys, it's Kai, Kyla, whatever. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna be talking about studying, being organized, and just how to pass classes in college and high school, whatever it is. If you don't know, I'm a freshman in college. My major is business marketing. I want to minor in photography. We have a lot to discuss today. I just thought I would make this video to help you guys because I kind of have found myself falling into a routine of how I actually study, what makes me half straight, is because right now I'm taking four classes them being history Italian art and English and I have A's in every single one of them except for Italian but we getting we getting good we getting good again I am it's getting better my grade isn't failing so I want to just go ahead and get started into this video because I honestly came up with a lot like a lot of good things for you guys so yeah let's go ahead and just get started so the first thing we're going to be talking about is how I take my notes and what I use to take my notes, how my notes look, everything like that. I'm going to grab my notebook so I have an example. The only two classes that I take in class notes are is Italian and history. Italian is more just kind of from the book and history is like lecture notes. So they're different, but it's still kind of the same process. So if we're talking in terms of supplies, what I use, um, notebook, and this is my pencil pouch, but in my little pencil pouch, I have a whole bunch of these mild liners i get them individually from michael's just because i don't want to spend money on a pack but i guess by the time i get all the colors i would anyway those are the highlighters that i use and then i just have a whole bunch of g2 pens that i got if you watched my preparing with me for high school Preparing with me for college video. But yeah, so that's what I used to take my notes. What I used to do actually was I would take notes in class and then I would try to go and like rewrite them on my iPad because I got an iPad from my school. But it just really took up too much time. So I stopped doing that. So my first couple sets of notes are like pretty rough. But once I figured out like I'm not gonna rewrite my notes, I just started trying to take them neatly during like the lesson, the lecture, whatever it is. So that's just a tip for you guys is just to not go and rewrite your notes. So for like Italian, she kind of just teaches by the book. So she'll have like the picture of the book on the board or whatever. And she talks about it. She lectures about it. So I write down everything that's on the board, that's on the page that she's on. So for this one, for example, I just have charts of everything. I'll highlight the word in Italian and I'll just write down the word in English. Same thing for history. I will say though that he just kind of puts like the title of the section that we're on. And then he'll just put one word and then he'll elaborate on it during the lecture. Lecture. both ways of taking notes whether it's like you see on a board or like lecture it's really not that hard you just have to know what's important if he asks a question what is immigration and that explains what it is you probably want to write it down and the good thing about his class is that he does have a textbook so I try to follow along in the textbook just in case like I miss a word of what he says I can go look at it real quick and just be like oh it was this but yeah that's how I write my notes now we're gonna get into how I actually study how I study what I do and what I use I have recently found out that it's good to study every single day for a class especially stuff like italian and math like another language math especially you want to study that crap every day you don't want to take a day off because if you take a day off you're going to start forgetting stuff today's thursday whenever i'm filming this let's say i have an exam next thursday i'm going to start studying last week you know what i mean like you want to study way in advance for stuff like that you don't want to forget it you don't want to be scrambling and i know it can suck i know it sucks but you want good grades you want to pass that's just my first tip i'm just like studying in general but we're gonna get into the first method of how i study the first thing that i do is studying quizlet and flashcards i like to use both it kind of really just depends on what exactly i'm studying it's like i like both i like quizlet because i can do it on my phone especially if i don't have like flashcards with me i can just like do it on my phone do it on my laptop and it's there and i don't have to like sit there trying to scramble through my backpack or if like i forget them at home like i can it's convenient because it's right there and it's still very helpful but at the same time if i look at my phone if i look at my computer while trying to study it i'm gonna get so sidetracked so sometimes it doesn't work well for me and that's also why i like flashcards i love flashcards because not only are you gonna be like studying them and but like you have something to hold and then you're rewriting everything i read somewhere and i just know from personal experience that by writing something you're gonna remember it a lot more because it's like you reading I 
like I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, just writing stuff down, it makes you remember it 10 times more. So that's why I also like flashcards. I like Quizlet for the convenience, especially if I don't have my flashcards, but I like flashcards just because it's a lot more like, like you're just gonna remember it better. That's the first method of how I study. And the second one is writing a study guide. I was like gonna do this on my iPad, but it's like I like the iPad because it's like convenient. I can say it to, save it to my laptop and just look at it, whatever. As I said, I like to write things down. I'm very much a paper person. Thought I was a tech note taking person, but I'm not. I'm definitely a paper person. I know I keep on using Italian as an example. That's just because it's like my hardest class and the class I actually have to study for. But I've done this before also for my history midterm. Basically a group and I got together and we made like a study guide of everything. You can do the same thing with like math and any other class that you absolutely need to, but I mainly do this for my Italian class as I said. I've made two study guides so far. One is for unit one and two and then the other one is for unit three. Everything that I've learned so far. So in the first one I would literally write out like oh like I need to study these sentences I made little charts and everything of like the stuff that I need to know and then I'll go and like go through the study guide and put the examples that we used for that specific section in with this I did this for this one for my unit 3 study guide I kind of went through the pages and I wrote down everything from those pages the charts the words I need to know what definitions are and then at the end I put in the review of everything that we did. I do like the way I did this one though just because like I know this goes with this and it just kind of makes sense but I think this way where you put like the review stuff at the end of it it works either way. I just think study guides and just writing stuff out like this is just so helpful because it's like you're not going and flipping through your notes where you may have other stuff in there so it just makes everything neat and together so I'm not having to scramble through like the front and the back of my notebook. I suggest doing this for like any class that you have. It genuinely helps. The third method that I have for you guys is to look up YouTube videos on specifically what you need to study. I do this really for like math and like Italian. Again, I know. But I'll do that mainly for like those two. I'll probably end up doing it for science as well. There are so many freaking resources online for you guys. I'm not even kidding. Go to YouTube. Look up what are prepositions in Italian? What are prepositions in French? What are prepositions in whatever language? How do I do trigonometry? You know what I mean? Like there's things for everything, especially one of my favorite YouTube channels is probably Crash Course. They have Crash Course on sciences, on math. What all do they have stuff on? They have one on yeah, they have stuff on geography, zoology, science, history, chemistry, literature, business class, statistics. They even have stuff for math. Utilize the stuff on YouTube. Crash Course, I will say, it does go really fast. It just kind of overviews everything. You can even like specify exactly what you want to look up on YouTube. And I promise you, there's videos out there. That's how I study. So I do want to go over the Chrome extensions that I use that I find really, really helpful. The first one is one called Liner. Basically, you can highlight any text on any website. I also find this really helpful, especially for history and English. In English, just because like in English, you're gonna be writing research papers maybe, possibly, whatever, and you find something and you wanna use an exact quote, you can just highlight it. And once you press the Chrome extension, it's gonna bring you to like a window and you can go and click on to where you can go see exactly everything that you've highlighted and it brings you to the website and it leaves everything highlighted that you did highlight on it. I really like it, so yeah. And the next one is one called Pro Writing Aid. I love Grammarly, but they have it to where you can like pay for it to actually help you with stuff. And like Grammarly is good if you want to make sure that you're using the correct word tenses and like what you're saying actually kind of makes like flows good. But Pro Writing Aid actually helps you make sure you know what like your writing is making sense, if that makes sense. I don't know if that made any sense. Let's say you have like a sentence, a sentence fragment. Pro writing aids actually gonna help you while Grammarly you're gonna have to pay for that and as college students you don't want to have to pay for anything I found it on Pinterest and I downloaded it and it's great I love it and if you're writing a lot of papers get it but I will say you can't use it on Word but you can use it on Google Docs and it helps so much so those are just the two extensions that I use so now we're gonna get into how I stay organized honestly I want to make an entire video just talking about this topic itself but I thought I would just go over four quick little things that I don't know I just feel like could really really help you guys want to see like a full video where I kind of go in depth with this kind of stuff let me know 
when I will, but I'm just gonna go over four quick things. Number one is to get a planner. If you don't have a planner, go and buy one. This will literally save you. It keeps track of everything for you as long as you write down when every single assignment is due and like whenever you get the syllabus, make sure you write down your due dates and stay on top of things. Next one is at the beginning of each week, write down your to-do list, plan out your days, write down when do you need to get an assignment done? When do you need to go do grocery shopping or something like that? You know what I mean? Like it helps you just see what you need to do each day and it honestly keeps you on track, especially if you do it at the beginning of the week and it just keeps you on track again because like you can write down all your assignment due dates in a planner, but then the next step to do that is to write down what your week is gonna look like based on those due dates. And then number three is to have a clean space that you want to work at or just have a space in mind where you know you're gonna work at. For me specifically, I can't really work at home, at least not for schoolwork, because whenever I get home, I automatically go to, I wanna read, I wanna go relax. But if I'm at school at the library, I know I'm gonna work. So I go to the library and work because my home is my rest place. And then the fourth thing, I will say this is not for everyone, but I know it worked for me for a time and it might help you, is to time block. So take each assignment that you have to do. You have that weekly to-do list, you have that daily to-do list. Take out time for each of that assignment to do. It helps. It helps keep on track of what you need to get done. And if you get done sooner, awesome. If you get done a little bit later, that's fine too. But that's all I have for how I stay organized personally. So that is all that I have to say. I really hope that this stuff does help you. It does. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe right down below. And if you have anything else that may help other people or me, or if you have anything that's not on this list, comment it down below. Let's help each other out because school is stressful. College is stressful. And I know a lot of you are in like high school and stuff. So yeah. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.